Municipalities across Michigan poring over their foreclosure records after a state Supreme Court ruling that benefits people who lost their properties because of unpaid taxes. It recently ruled its 2020 decision banning local governments from pocketing profits from foreclosure sales can now be applied retroactively. And a local treasurer tells TV5's Trey Harris it's going to cause quite the challenge. They deserve that money, then they should get it. And we should be as quick as we can be. People whose properties were foreclosed could have some money coming back. This is because of a state Supreme Court ruling that expands who may receive excess proceeds that municipalities make on those sales. Previously, this applied to foreclosures from 2020 and after. But the high court ruled it applies to foreclosures from before 2020. We're one of the bigger counties in terms of foreclosures, so we're going to have more yeah. than others. Genesee County Treasurer Deb Cherry says the office will try to make the process as easy as possible, working with the company to help track down contact information of foreclosed property owners in the county. Cherry expects the biggest challenge will be getting the process started. While we can't really process all of that this yet, we don't know how it's all going to work. We can certainly take their names and addresses and once we know we can contact them. Cherry says the county doesn't have an exact number of how many property owners this ruling could affect. She says the county forecloses on upward of a thousand properties a year, but many of those were abandoned and had little value. It could be a couple hundred people per year. Okay. So it could be quite a few. Cherry says the county did put away funding obtained through foreclosures, but at this point, it doesn't know if it will be enough to pay back to those eligible. She says the county is working with the state and expects it to take time to track down foreclosed owners and to notify them. It could be up to a year, year or even maybe a little bit more before people actually start seeing their money. Reporting from Genesee County, Trey Harris, WNEM TV5. The Genesee County Treasurer's Office encourages those who feel they may be eligible for payments to contact their office.